Yeah, and Lane, right now the city is still waiting for another round of information from developers interested in taking control of that project and hoping to pick one by the summer. We're sold out for the 12th consecutive year. A lot of happiness, a lot of gratefulness. As the 2022 home opener arrives, Party Parnell with a flying squirrel says he's focused on the present, but is confident about the future. We're positively, enthusiastically, energetically heading in the right direction. As the city looks to replace their current home, the Diamond, as part of a larger development of over 67 acres of land. It's our chance to create a new vibrant neighborhood. Dubbed the Diamond District, it stretches from north of the railroad tracks to the interstate and between Arthur Ashe Boulevard and Hermitage. We want a new ballpark mix mixed income, development, mixed use, green space, uh, interconnected to nearby neighborhoods, creating a whole new neighborhood for our city. After 15 initial responses to a request for interest, a panel of 10, including 2nd District Council Member Catherine Jordan, have pared it down to six and are asking for more information. We want to give ourselves the flexibility to be as competitive as possible during the pro this process. So. We'll, we'll see what comes back and make the best decision based on that. While those in the community say the plan is pivotal for the area's future. We're all excited to engage with the city on the, on the process and um, we hope it's a transparent and equitable process uh, and that um, everybody has a seat at the table. We're just standing by waiting for uh, the city to move forward with their selection. As for the project's impact on the squirrel's future, Parney says the team wants to stay in Richmond, but Major League Baseball has the final say and they're watching what happens. It's not wanting a ballpark, it's we have to have a ballpark now. Uh, so I think that that level of need and of must have takes it to a whole new level. Now, the additional information from those six developers is due by April 25th. In May, there will be public hearings, and they'll whittle it down to their finalists before entering negotiations with the plan to pick a preferred developer by June. And because this plan involves transferring city land, it would need to be signed off on by seven of the nine members of city council.